Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Deathmaster Kratos. We're going to be playing some Castle Crashers. Now, this game actually came out around three or four years ago. And uh, it came out for the PS3 and the Xbox 360 originally. It's actually out on Steam now. It's been out for a while, but I wanted to go back through and play it because it's one of my favorite games of all time. It's one of my favorite games I've ever played as far as side-scrollers goes, and it's just a great indie game. So, I just want to go through and, you know, play a couple levels with you guys. You know, just see how you like it. And uh, if this picks up a little steam, I'm going to start doing... Ha, ah, get it, steam. Uh, I'm going to start doing actually some actual Let's Plays with my best friend, and we'll actually do, like, some co-op Let's Plays. So let's get right on into this. So you got a couple of options. You have the arena, you have all you can quaff, and you have Castle Crashers. Castle Crashers is the main story. Arena is just, like, a fight to the death with other people. And then all you can quaff is, like, an eating contest, which is kind of fun. And uh, so, you go to Castle Crashers, and I have all the DLC, so you have all the uh, all the different characters, so I'll just go back to the start. You have the flame guy, you have the ice guy, the electricity guy, and the poison guy, and you start out with these guys. But then the DLC gives you a uh, black knight and a kissy girl thing that's basically just a girl, Castle Crasher. Um, I like to play with the lightning one, just because I like lightning. And uh, I'm just going to get into this, so I'll let you watch this cutscene real quick. Ow, 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 ow. It's kind of weird how the music cuts out there for a second. Let's see what these guys have to say. Okay, did you forget to use those items? Here, take this health potion. Press right bumper or left bumper. I'm actually playing with a aftermarket or like a off the like off brand controller so it's not exactly the greatest controller in the world but it's something. I'm not playing with an Xbox controller. Yeah so these just basically teach you the basics of combat and since you guys aren't actually playing you know I already know the basics of combat so I've got it down. If you guys want an actual tutorial on how to play the game better, then, uh, you know, I can do that too. But, this is just more of a let's play. Alright, let's get right into this. Come on, baddies. Let's do this. I'll fight someone. Aha! Uh, throw you. Okay, so X is jump. Or, well. I call it X just because I came from the PlayStation before I played PC. Oh, chopped his head off. Man, I'm getting my butt whooped. Generally better than this. This is a fluke. So you can just mark it off as a fluke. That, that's just how it goes. Because, because life and things and stuff. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, magic. Haha. -ha. I'm better than you. Chop your head. Come on. Come on. Ow. It's just like a hacky slashy side scroller. I just love this game because you level up. That, that's the the leveling system in this game is pretty re rewarding in the first place, so it's kind of fun. I just really overall enjoy this game. So you literally get into the first bar boss fight pr pretty quick. If you're smart, you can play this game. You almost end up like Batman from like Arkham Asylum because you can get used to like when the enemy behind you is gonna attack and you like turn around and basically counter him before he can do anything. You like that, don't you? Come on. And you can sometimes you can get it to the point like where if you use if you use triangle. There's a point where you actually get a move. You can knock people up in the air. I'm getting hit really hard because I am not paying attention at all. I'm spending more time talking than I actually am playing. <laughs> Holy cow, alright. Bring it on. Let's do this. You ready? I got friends backing me up now. You ain't got nothing on this. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Die, 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 die. How many times do I have to hit you? This is literally how, I'm how I play games, if you were wondering. I pretty much just sit here and talk to myself the whole time, so 
Now I'm actually talking to people. So it's kind of weird. I'm not used to talking to an audience directly. It's something new for me. Something new I'm trying out. Should I buy a sword? Should I buy a sword? How much is it? Oh man. I don't have enough. Seriously? Whatever. Alright. Well, it's minus one anyway. It's not better than what I've got. Mm. I always go for health. I go for health and strength. Hacky slashy, hacky slashy. Yeah, at the beginning, you don't really have that many moves, so it kind of ends up just being a hacky slashy, just hack fest. You just press square over and over and over and over and over again until they die. Rinse and repeat. What I like about this game is the character design and just the, the combat system is, is so smooth. It's very rewarding whenever you dodge something or you... For a side-scroller that is also a 2D art style, the way that this game just runs and feels and plays is just so smooth. I wish they'd make a sequel to it because I really enjoyed playing it. I'm gonna kill this coin. It's the last thing I do. Okay, let's keep going. Archer. So little dudes with the, with the X's on their faces. They look like Robin Hood. They're obviously archers. This game can get really hard though, like at the beginning, you can see how like if the enemies got stronger you could get overwhelmed really quick and there are points where you have, you have archers, that, like you have like five archers shooting you at once and you're sitting here like, oh my god, I cannot get a hit off at all, and so you're just being attacked over and over again until you just die or you give up. But as you know, well, you probably don't know because I haven't told you. What am I thinking? I'm talking to you people like you actually know who I am. Well, get to know me a little bit. Um, let's see. I never give up. I will play a level until I just, like, jump off a cliff. Seriously, like, I will just play until I hate myself because I can't beat it. Oh, crap. Sweet. That's another cool thing I like. When you level up, your health goes back to full. So that could be... Uh, which one's X? Crap. I hate how the controller... The controls that it shows up, though, are the Xbox controls. Uh, this game, and I also liked... Um, I don't know if any of you ever played the uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World... Uh, 2D side-scroller game remake. That was kind of fun, too. This is the part that's, like, really freaking annoying. You just have to learn to run. Watch out for the X's and then get on his side and attack him. It's a giant. I guess it looks like a looks like a like a ram. I guess that makes sense. And I just let that thing fall right on top of me. Good job, Kenny. So instead of bomber man, it's bomber ram. Is that the joke I'm gonna make? Am I gonna be that lame today? Why not? Ow. I don't like you. You and your bombs and whatnot. The boss fights in this game are so satisfying. Like, just some of the boss fights in this game are so incredibly hard, but they're so rewarding when you win. 
I'm just gonna play through to the first boss and upload it to YouTube and whatnot to the YouTubes. That's what you kids call it nowadays. What am I talking about? I'm a kid. Well, kid per se. 21. Doesn't really make me a kid. Makes me young. That actually wasn't a boss fight. It was more like a mini boss. But sometimes you can get you can get stuck like that where you've got the enemies in front of you perfectly and you just keep hitting them over and over again and they won't attack you. Unless of course they're archers and then they'll shoot you. Awesome. They're dead. Ah, uh, I should take that banana. Didn't really give me much health, but something I guess. Sprint plus X or Y. Oh yeah, how do you sprint again? I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, is it... Is it... No. Right. Okay, sprint isn't actually a button. Unfortunately, you can't avoid these guys. Uh, why why stab you when I can just throw you into your own friend? It's so satisfying. I'm missing coins, I know. It's weird, this game is kind of weirdly optimized too for fraps. It's like right now I'm getting 40 frames, which is weird because without fraps on I get 60 frames no matter what. No problem. I don't know why, but like when I tried to record uh, it uh, with fraps set to uh, 30 frames, it for some reason decided to change it so that I like it would it would send my frame down to like eight frames per second, and the game would be unplayable. But when I turned it up to 60 frames per second on the uh, fraps counter, it decided to then run at 40, like in between 30 and 45 for some reason, which is weird, because if I turn V-Sync on, it's, it like kills the frame rate when recording. That will just sit here and hack and slash you to death. Oh yeah, this is the best part. This is the boss fight. And you get to choose one of the girls. Just kidding. No, you actually get one girl per boss fight. This boss fight is so satisfying. Just wait for him to get near you and come here. Let him do that. Ouch. I was not paying attention. Ow. Still not paying attention. Not gonna give me this time. Ow. Man, I'm really just like... Okay. I love the freaking soundtrack in this game. It's so awesome. It reminds me, I need to download it. I'm a sucker for, like, th this kind of music. Like, uh, 16... Or, 32-bit music. The, the real kind of, like, old retro-style fight music. I love it. I love it. Like, there's a there's a channel on YouTube, I'm um, sure anybody who is kind of like a technology person will know exactly who, uh, what it is. Um, it's called Tech Syndicate, and the main guy on there, Logan Hale, he actually made a uh, entire, like, he calls it Zweihander, is his, like, band, I guess. It's really just one person, and he makes his own music, and it's like, 32-bit, and he uses it for his channel, but the music itself is just freaking awesome, fun to listen to. I love old retro-style music like this. The soundtracks nowadays, while, yes, very, a lot of fun to listen to, are nothing like they, what they used to be. This, like, this is just, like, techno at its finest. 
See, I'm like old school. I'm back from like, I guess what I would consider old school is back from like PlayStation 1 and like, you know, Final Fantasy 8. Not 7. Everybody thinks 7 is the best one. I don't agree. Oh, this music is so amazing. Ouch. Come on. I would be so disappointed in myself if I died right here. <laughs> I'm gonna take you before he goes. Ouch. Nope, oh, I leveled up. Okay, it's over. Ow. Or not. If I if I fail to be smart and I die. Got you. This is cool. It shoots it up, and you have to, like, it's like a mini game. You have to, like, run around and grab it all. If you're awesome like me, you can grab as much of it as possible. Oh, yeah. Totally worth it. Alright. Kissy, kissy. Alright, so that was the first three levels of castle crashers and i will start uploading some more of these if you guys like it and if you guys like my commentary and just my little game talk while i you know play some interesting games and uh oh yeah you unlock characters as you go through which is kind of cool and that's pretty much it so i will see you guys in the next video make sure to subscribe you know like my video if you like it and dislike it if you freaking hated it and i will see you guys later this has been Deathmaster Kratos, and you have been watching Castle Crashers.